Hi, I'm KB with The Beat. How are you? Hi, hey, KB. I'm uh, good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. So I am really digging season one of this show. And my first question I just have to ask, what was the most challenging episode to create this season? And, you know, is there anything that you learned from the challenges of creating that episode that you took to either future episodes this season or you'd like to incorporate in season two? Um, the challenge was... Uh myriad on many levels and a lot of it really was because a lot of these episodes really have their own feel and their own vibe uh, both from the tone some being a little funnier some being a little heavier some being a little more action-packed but also living in different locations throughout the solar system so it's it's hard to say which one was the hardest um i think one of our um yeah, it's hard to say which one was the hardest, but uh, they, they all sort of had their challenges. But it was incredible to, to live in the set builds and the, and the production design of this show and uh, the stunt work, the visual effects. Uh, every day was sort of a beautiful challenge. Yes. And you know what? It's funny. I actually just talked to to John, Daniela and Mustafa about kind of some of the influences. Uh, you know, we get a lot of buddy cop feels, you know, between uh, two of the characters. But in my personal opinion, I saw a lot of like film noir influences in, in certain places. So what were some other bodies of work apart from obviously the rich history and, uh, you know, anime that's already there, obviously, did you draw inspiration from uh, and put into these episodes? Yeah, I mean, looking at live action inspirations for the anime, where they drew their inspiration from, um, was really about going back and looking at sort of Bonnie and Clyde, The Big Sleep, The Maltese Falcon, Double Indemnity, um, The Crow, the Dick Donner movies of the 80s, 2001 A Space Odyssey. There were so many different um, genres to play within, uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly all these spaghetti Westerns, you know, in yeah. terms of the framing and the shootouts and the Sergio Leone canon. So a lot of it was going back and really looking at these movies and being uh, a fan of those movies, but going back and really watching them again and being like, oh, I remember why I'm a fan of these um, and really drawing inspiration from those. There, there's such a beautiful library of, of movies that inspired our telling. Yes. And oh my goodness, you mentioned The Crow and I didn't get it before, but I might need to go back and watch and see what like Crow influences because it's one of my favorites that I can pick up on. So yes, yeah. thank you for that. There's a, there, there's a nugget for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can't wait to go back and see. And so yeah. for you, this might also be a challenge, but what character's arc do you relate to the most this particular season? Do I relate to? Yeah. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't know that I can answer that question uh, live and in person. <laughs> um, uh, oddly, I kind of relate to all of them. Um, and I say that in a sense of, you know, in the telling of the story and working in a writer's room with great writers, um, there are pieces of myself in every one of those characters' journeys, um, as well as pieces of all of the writers that helped craft the season. So um it's, a, it's sort of a beautiful amalgam and a great opportunity to not confront one's own journey when dealing with the journeys of fictionalized characters. Yes, absolutely. So my last question really is, obviously, you know, we all know how beloved the anime series is, quite frankly. So what do you hope that fans of the anime series get to take away from this? Because, you know, uh, obviously there are some similarities, but you make it your own and it is still a unique body of work. So what do you hope that those fans take away from it? I think that the greatest thing that they could take away from it is the continued journeys of Spike and Faye and Jet and Vicious and a host of incredible bounties and cops and corporate tycoons, all of the things that they remember from the anime is really the continuing journey of characters that you love. Um, I love the anime and I love the opportunity to continue telling their stories. So I hope that that's, uh, I hope that that's what they take away. And I have a feeling that uh, even some of the most diehard why did you make this show? What's wrong with you? Even some of those uh, folks, I think they're going to be charmed by um, getting to spend more time with the Bebop gang. 
Yeah. And you know what? I hope that they can see how much love each and every one of you guys really put into it. <laughs> for sure. For sure. So thank you so much for yeah. chatting with The Beat. Really appreciate it. Great. Thank you.